Today's activity is I am on my way to go catch some bait fish. Bait fish that I use later in the year. I use these guys uh, for Spanish mackerel, um, Jack Revelle, uh, Bonitas. I use them for my charters and I use them also for commercial fishing. They work great for snapper, they work great for everything. So this time of year, masses of them will come down and these are small bait fish called glass minnows and pilchards. And they work really well for these smaller fish and chumming. What I call chumming is, you know, you take handfuls and you throw it out and it gets the fish eating and it gets them excited and then it makes it a lot easier to catch them. So this time of year, I typically stock up on them so that I have them. I catch them, I put them on ice, then I put them in Ziplocs, gallon Ziplocs, and I freeze these Ziplocs, my deep freeze. After they're frozen, you can keep them for years if you want to, but they're always there if I need them. And that's what's really important is always having that bait if I need it. So that's what we're doing today. Now for these little bait fish, what we're gonna be throwing is an eight foot glass minnow net. That's 3 16 inch and it's made of cloth. These kind of glass minnow nets are really hard to get a hold of because they work really well for glass minnows. Typically, if you throw a 3 16 inch mesh net that is made out of, oh man, I just got a big bug splatter on my truck and I just uh, just washed it. Anyways, so if you throw the 3 16th mesh and it's made out of monofilament, nylon, whatever you know they typically are, these, um, these nets will gill these glass minnows off if they're small baits and they'll hang them and then they don't come out of your net unless you really shake it or, or you know one by one pick them out so it's kind of a pain in the butt so the real purpose of having that cloth net is there's no stretch on the mesh so many don't get hung and if they do get hung since there's no stretch it just shakes right out and it kind of almost just like shears the bait fish in half and they fall out of the net very easily so that's the reason why I use these cloth nets. They look really goofy, they're not easy to throw, and they sink super slow. But it saves me a lot of aggravation, a lot of stinky nets with rotting bait fish in it. And that's the reason why I use them. Having the right amount of ice for your bait fish is super important. For one, you don't want your bait fish to rot. For another, it gets them nice and cold so that when you do finally put them in the freezer, those bait fish are going to freeze up really fast. So ice is number one when you're going to load up on bait fish. Got to have them cold, got to load up really well on ice, got to keep them in ice and a little bit of salt water mix, which we call a brine.
All right, now we got our baits and they're iced down really good. What you want to do is get all the uh, excess junk out, leaves, whatever you don't want to end up freezing. We always mangrove roots. So we're gonna throw those out. Got all kinds of excess stuff in here. You really don't want in the bag poking holes and everything, leaves. Just a lot of junk in that throw. Plastic. What else? More mangrove roots. You just want to make sure you get all the junk out so when you do end up using your bait, there's nothing in your bag except the bait fish. You also want to make sure there's no big giant chunks of ice because that it will add water to your fish which you don't want and take up excess space. So you've got your strainer. Take a good good scoop of the bait fish. Fish and let all, all the water drain out with the strainer. Once you've done that, you're ready to pour. Pouring is kind of tricky. There's no right way to do it. Just try not to make a mess on your driveway, I guess. You go ahead and pour into the bag. And I only do about half the bag. That way, it freezes a little quicker. If you do the bag full, it takes a long time to get frozen. And another thing about that is, is sometimes the bags bust open. You really don't want that in your freezer. So. You know, that's, that's what it should look like right there. And then you got all your bait fish stored up and ready to go for the winter. Okay, take these guys, and we're going to put them all in the freezer. Now that we got our bait all bagged up, let's bring them to the freezer. All right, let's put these guys in the freezer. So, put them in nice and flat. Don't drop it. And uh, yeah, just kinda, I just lay them in, just kind of nice flat area with some air underneath it. You really want to take that bag that's balled up and kind of flatten it out so it, it's a little thinner and it, it'll freeze up a lot quicker. And uh, really that's all there is to it. Just flatten them out and let them freeze up. And that's it, and you are all set. Now we got some bait fish for a few trips, and we're stored up, stacked up, and ready to go. Now I will catch a little bit more, but, um, but really if you wanna do this yourself, this is the way it's done. All right, so here's my net. Now that it's nice and dark outside, <laughs> I wanted to show you what happens. These little guys get gilled off in your net mesh and like I said it would be a lot more if I used a regular monofilament cast net but these guys are still here and the way to do it if you want to do it one by one is just to take them and pop their heads off you just gotta pop their head off boom it's popped off and then their body falls through and then you shake it you shake your net out and then that's it but it just takes time the other way is just to take your net in sections and go ahead and just shake it as, as hard as you can and these guys will actually pop their own heads off you see their heads are popping off and the bodies are falling down and that's that's probably the easiest way with this kind of a net got a monofilament net it won't stretch enough to break these guys off in the mesh so you have this really stinky mess if you leave it alone for a few days and uh, you don't want to do that 
because this can be a very, very stinky mess. I mean, these guys smell bad after an hour or so. You'll be gagging and puking on yourself. So uh, I recommend taking care of these little hung ones as soon as possible and just going through your net section by section, trying to find any little guys that are hanging on in there. Otherwise, you'd be, you'd be real sorry tomorrow, especially when you put this thing up on your shoulder and try and throw it. You'd be like, uh, uh. 